I want to show how to get started with 3D graphics in Mathematica. This video is not exhaustive of all options out there. There are a lot of things you can do in Mathematica, but this is at least a starter. And so I've already defined some functions, f, g, h, a, b, and c. And you see f, g, h are all two variable functions. So for example, this first one, I want to plot f, x, y. I just use the plot 3D function. I type in my function, which is f, x, y here. And I want x to go from, oh, let's say negative 5 to 5. And my y, I need to specify as well. Let's go from negative 5 to 5. And this will give me the 3D mapping. And there it is. And there are a lot of uh, options here to it for us. But uh, for the time being, let's just stick with this. And I'll show you how to change some of these options uh, towards the end of this. Okay. Secondly, I want to try to do a contour mapping. Now, contour mappings, this is of H, X, Y. Um, these are our K-curves, um, our slices. Okay. So you see this in mountain ranges a lot on a map where they just have different levels and different colors. So the way I do contour mapping is by contour plot, and we want to do contour plot, not contour plot 3D. We're going to do contour plot of H. And um, since we're dealing with trig functions, why don't we go from negative 2 pi to, to, to 2 pi in the x direction, and we'll do the same in the y direction. And again, this will give us like our mountain ranges on a map. Okay, so that's a neat looking checkerboard looking thing. But you gotta think of these as like mountains and valleys, and each shade represents a certain height. So we call this K curves in calculus. Okay, now, uh, what if I want to put two graphics together? I wanna to put F and G together. So that's what the next thing it says to do is to plot F, X, Y, and G of X, Y. So to do that, I'm gonna go back to plot 3D. And all I need to do now is put my two functions that I want to graph in a list together. So that's f and g. And here I'm going to go from x going from, uh, let's go negative 5 to 5 again in both directions. And now this will show me f and g together. That's pretty wild looking, but there it is. So you can see the yellow is the f function that we graphed earlier, and this blue is our g function. And it may look nice to zoom out a little bit on this. Let's go negative 10 to 10. Oh, and it basically looks the same. All right, so now we're going to kind of switch gears. We wanted to look at uh, parameterization. So this time a, b, and, t and c are all um, parameter or functions defined by the parameter t. And I want to see what they're doing in three space when they work together. Okay, so from that, I'm going to use a parametric plot 3D. And I'm going to parameterize, or this thing is parameterized by A of T, B of T, C of T, in the X, Y, Z directions, respectively. And here they ask for T to go from 0 to 2 pi. All right, and let's see what we get. Okay, so we get this corkscrew looking thing. Now, if I want to see what's going on in the, um, let's say, the X, Z direction, for example, I'm going to go with parametric plot, not 3D, just parametric plot, and I had the A was from the X direction and the C was from the Z direction. And here we want T going from 0 to 2 pi. And there it is. That's what's happening in the X, Z plane. Okay, I could easily change this. Let's say the X, Y plane, what's going on in the X, Y plane? That's what's going on in the XY plane. And you can kind of see that here if maybe if I try to get to the top view, you can see it's kind of estimating this curve. That's the shadow in the XY plane. Okay, so that shows you now we have gone over uh, plot 3D, contour plots, um, more than one 3D graphics, parametric plot 3D and parametric plot itself. Okay, now I want to do this. I want to plot this parametrized curve uh, that we just had along with F and G. So I want it to be with this graphic as well. Okay, so the way you can do that, there are several ways you can do that. Let's let's do this. Let's call uh, this first plot we did here. Um, why don't we lessen our range a little bit. Let's go to negative 4 to 4. Okay, and I'm going to call this graph 1. I'm going to say graph 1 equals that, and all it, do, all it does is tell Mathematica graph 1 is that plot. 
Okay, the second thing I want to graph was this parametrized plot, so I'll call that graph2. And now if I want to show them together, I'll just say show graph1, graph2, just like that. And there they are together. Now, the parametrized plot is a lot smaller. It even almost looks flat because we're not going very high. But there they are together. Okay, and so you can see a variety of applications here. For example, if you wanted to find the tangent line in three space um, going across a surface, this would be the way to do it. Okay, for this next one, we want to do a contour mapping of ABC minus C squared. Okay, so um, since I have three independent variables, this is actually contour plot 3D. All right, so I have my three independent variables. That's going to be A times B times C minus C squared. And I guess we need to specify what directions we're going. So let's go from negative 2 to 2 in each. And we can adjust this later if we need to. All right, and here is our graph. And this looks really wild. Okay, so what's going on here? So just like when we had these contour plots um, in three space where we're taking a two-dimensional two image of a three-dimensional function doing curves with these different heights, I'm doing the same thing now with a four-dimensional object. So this is a four-dimensional object and you're seeing the slices which are each three-dimensional curves by a given value of that fourth dimension. And this is kind of what it looks like. All right, so if we change our or how far out we're going. Let's go 5 to 5. We might be able to see more detail and not really. It just kind of spaces it out more because there's a difference in the in the z value or the I guess the w values that we're seeing here. But this is still the idea. So we're representing a four-dimensional image in three space. Okay from here I want to show how to um, use some of the different visual settings that we can get in Mathematica. So here it says plot h of x, y with no mesh, background, and colored blue. Okay. So the first thing we need to do is plot 3D h of x, y. And this is the one that we had um, the contour plot of earlier. So I'm going to let x go from negative 2 pi to 2 pi. I thought that looked pretty good that way. And y going from negative 2 pi to 2 pi. So there's my image. And you can see now, when I did the K curves, it was just the slices across the top there. But here I have it, okay. Now I want to be able to uh, change the mesh, the background, and the color. Now, in Mathematica, you have the suggestion bar, which will help with this. So for example, mesh, you have all these different types of meshes. I want to say no mesh. And so now here's my plot, the same plot with no mesh. And it looks very smooth, which is nice, okay. Now we also want to change the plot style to a nice blue color. And we can vary the blue, the shade of blue that we want. We also can vary the opacity. So I'll give it a little bit of an opacity there. So hit done. And so there, and you can see this is putting it into the code. I have my plot 3D, just as we said, and then the plot style is giving a specific RGB color with an opacity and we have no mesh. Okay, so for background, I can come in and say background, and we can say none, which is what they asked for. Okay, so it takes out a background, but we could also play with it a little bit. How about like black? So there's a black background, and I could even change the way the lighting is hitting this. So for example, I can say lighting uh, neutral, and so that would be like a neutral lighting. If I don't like that as much, I can take that out. So I think I'll take it out this time. But the point is, is there are a lot of options we can have um, in our graphics here. So uh, these are just a few of them, and you can play with a lot more. They have themes. So for example, maybe you want a minimal theme that takes out the axes. Maybe a business kind of changes the coloring or scientific. Okay, lastly now we want to plot FXY with a picture on it. That's an interesting idea. So I'm going to do 3D plot. And let's do FXY um, with X going from negative 4 to 4 and Y going the same. Okay. Let's go ahead and say we want a mesh none and we want a background 
black. I liked that. Okay, so let's see what we have so far. All right, there we have it. Okay, there's our there's our image. Very smooth looking. Now I'm going to put a picture on this. And the way you can do that is by going plot style. And you need to be careful. Let's see, we just put our squiggly brackets there. On the inside, I'm going to say texture with close uh, braces like that. Now, all I have to do now is drag a picture into there and it'll put this on my image. Okay, now Mathematica has some built in, but you don't have to have them built in. Here's one from my computer right there. There it is. Okay, now I want to hit Shift Enter. There it is. There's the spiral on my curve. Okay, now it can't, you have to be careful. It could uh, freeze your computer if the file is too big. I've done that more than once. But there it is. And you can rotate it around. It's pretty neat. So you can put a picture of your kids on some sort of 3D surface if you want. Okay, now this is just a start. Uh, if you want more textures, uh, here's something you can look up in Mathematica. You can go example data and um, look for texture. And here's our list of textures that are available to us. Okay, and so if you want to see one of those, say example data, and then uh, make a list, and you want texture as your first part, and let's say, I don't know, how about wood as our second part? So that's going to pull up the wood texture. There's my wood texture. So now if I wanted to put that on an image, okay, so I'm going to delete that picture, and let's put the wood on there. Let me copy and paste it. Copy. paste and there it is there's the wood grain on my surface okay so you can use one of the built-in surfaces that Mathematica has or built-in textures and here's a list of them that's how you get them okay now this is just a start on the things you can do in 3d graphics there's uh, there's other things you can do too you can do spherical plots 3d you can do uh, revolution plot 3d if you're looking at revolution of solids like calculus 2 um, and uh, you can do three-dimensional vector fields and all sorts of neat stuff. But this at least gets you started. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. I hope this makes sense. I hope it helps you. And thank you for watching. <laughs>